Aiden, I saw Sophie and her men near the water tower. So the place should be empty now. But I don't know when they'll be back. Is this some kind of collector or what? Oh, this place is a pigsty. Here's something. Wait, what the hell? Oh, fuck! That's... That's human skin! Hakon, I found the tattoo they cut out of Lucas. Damn freaks. What? Yeah. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Get the hell out of there! We tell Aitor and... Why are you going through my sister's stuff? Didn't know they were hiring pilgrims as housekeepers in this hole. Are you shedding skin, Barney? What the fuck is... We didn't... A little piece of Lucas to remember him by, you sicko? Fuck you. Nice try. But that ain't mine. I'll kill you, you son of a bitch! <sighs> What's going on here, for fuck's sake? Are you nuts? He's... He's setting us up. This fucking pilgrim is framing us. What is he talking about, Aiden? I found the proof. Hidden among your things. Proof? A of what? You cut the tattoo from Commander Lucas's arm. After his death? Or when he was still alive? You're out of your mind. I didn't do it. Maybe you didn't. What's your crazy brother? Barney's not a psycho. We have nothing to do with Lucas's death. I'm going to Ader. I've got the proof he's looking for. Aiden, it's not us. Nobody at the bazaar will believe you. Then where did this piece of skin come from, Sophie? Could have been planted to set us up. Ever think of that? Who would do that? And why? To distract everyone from the real killer. Who gained the most from killing Lucas? Who had the most to gain? 
If it was that easy for you to get in here, then someone else could have come in here before you and planted that. Doesn't matter. This is between you and Ader now. Wait! Please. Ador doesn't care about the truth. He doesn't care about finding the real killer. He's only looking for a reason to raid the bazaar. It's not my war, Sophie. No. But you'll have blood on your hands. Blood of innocence. Someone is setting us up. Someone clever. We're not sadists who would skin Lucas, Aiden. And you know it. But I know that you want to get rid of the PKs. Yes. And we will get rid of them. But not like psychos and assassins, Aiden. Believe me, this is a setup. I'll help you get to the center. I promise. How? By getting rid of the biggest problem of this land. The PKs. That seems dangerous. We've been preparing for this for a long time. I'll tell you everything when I'm ready. Stay close to your radio, Aiden. Time to make some changes around here.
Ready to get me to the center? I'll tell you everything when you get here. Hurry up. Good Lord, take Erica in with you. around a while you're practically one of us now watch yourself you hear <laughs> you 
wonder where all the guns went, right? The army seized them after a loon killed a bunch of people in March 2024. God knows who's got them now. This is madness, Sophie. The peacekeepers have more weapons. Men. They will crush us like worms. Ator may have more men, but we have the home field advantage. Home field advantage? You're crazy. I forbid it. While I lead the bazaar, no one will attack the peacekeepers. You no longer lead the bazaar. What? You're no leader, Carl. Never were. We lost people because of you. Crystals. You almost got yourself killed. My mother wanted a free bazaar, not slaves serving the peacekeepers. I want to restore peace here. You can help me with this, or leave. Roger, Humphrey, arrest them. What are you doing? They want to betray the bazaar. Roger! You have no power anymore, Carl. You won't be like your mother. You'll have blood on your hands, Sophie. A lot of blood. Carl is right. We don't stand a chance in open battle. Sophie? What the? Therefore, we're gonna weaken them first. What do you mean? We'll cut off their main source of electricity. Without UV lamps, Ador can't defend his base. They will be driven from the metro tunnels and cut off from the armory. How does all this get me to the central loop? Once Ador is weakened, he will retreat for reinforcements. Then you can make it to the central loop, Aiden. But first, we have to blow up the windmill. And fast, before Ador gets wind of what we're planning. Barney, gather our people. Be ready. Roger and Humphrey, go to the armory. Provide weapons to anyone capable of fighting. And you, Aiden, go to Alberto and Vincenzo. They'll walk you through the plan. Okay. Community and freedom, Aiden. Together, we will win. This new armor of yours is flimsy. More fit for a beetle than people. Yeah, way too thin. Fierstein! Peter shows a great protection! This is top craftsmanship, made from the finest quality materials. Built from... Uh-oh, uh -oh. I can almost see the steam pouring from his ears. Look out, <laughs> he's gonna blow. <laughs> titanium, we reinforce the armor with titanium we pulled from the scrapyard. That's why they're lighter, and better protection. You guys shouldn't be such dicks. Well, why didn't he just say so? We'll see. Thanks, Vincenzo. You didn't have to. It was nothing, Dad. Ah. As for you, those two oafs took the last titanium vests. No, I'm not here for armor. Sophie sent me. You're supposed to bring me in on some plan? The plan? My plan? Carl agreed? Carl agreed! You hear that, Vincenzo? Not Carl. Sophie. You gonna share or do I have to guess? Windmill. We take down the windmill. Bingo! The big windmill that provides power to the PK headquarters. But first, we need the charges that Jack and Joe left at the water tower. Hmm? Would you bring them to us, Pilgrim? After we blow it up, all the UV lamps in the PK headquarters will go out. That'll allow the infected to attack them. Hmm? Old Villador will be free again. And you, you have a clear route to, uh, uh, you know, the past chemical fallout and to, uh, uh, What's it called? The Central Loop? The Central Loop! Right! How do you know the PK will withdraw and not retaliate? Because Dad designed this windmill. He knows it like the back of his hand. And it's the PK base's only power source. Without it, the PKs won't last another night in Old Villador. But we must act fast before the peacekeepers catch wind of our plans. 
So, we win? Okay, so the windmill powers all the PK's UV lamps? Yes, it does indeed. A lot of people will die. Only if the PK don't turn tail and head back to where they belong. They stole that windmill from us. It was ours. Lucas and his men, they... When they came, they... Ah! Ah! Damn it! Took, took it. it. Exactly. They took it. Without electricity, Ator can't keep anyone here. We have generators, smaller power sources. They need a large power source. They'll have to withdraw. And before they return with backup from the central loop, we'll block the tunnel ourselves. Their commander, Jack Matt, is not going to risk fighting in the dark with the infected and renegades at his back. Old Villador will be ours again, and you will go to the center. All right, fine. I'll do it. Okay, go to the water tower. We're going to use the charges that Jack and Joe tried to blow it up with. Let me know once you get there. What are you waiting for? Somebody's having a good day, huh? Oh, boy, am I ever. Come on, take a sniff. Wait, a sniff of what? Exactly. The stench is gone, isn't it? Uh... So how do I smell? More lily or lilac, would you say? I don't know, uh, lilies, I guess? Lilies are my favorite scent. Finally. I can approach the most wonderful lady in the world without shame. And it's all thanks to the guy that opened the tap for... Wait a sec. Holy fuck, it's you! You're Aiden! Maybe. If that's so, may I ask some of you? There's this certain item I'd like to give my Madeline. Okay, what? A red dress from the old clothes shop at the beginning of Station Road in Quarry End. 
I know how it sounds, but Madeline, she wore a dress like that once. It'll bring back our old memories from before. You know, from before everything. I'll be a geezer before I manage to get in there. You understand? Meanwhile, some fancy man's been hanging around Madeline. Right, so you don't have much time. Exactly. Look, see that picture behind me? It'll show you what you're looking for. Certified psycho. Sometimes I wake up at night and forget so the much work. Have more and better for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> 
Cars. Found it. Oh, shit. Listen, Aiden. There's one more thing. I saw your face when you told me how I smell. You were lying, weren't you? What? <laughs> Listen, I... Relax. It is what it is, I know. I rubbed myself with flowers, but it didn't help. I really don't want to mess up this date with Madeline. I need perfume, Aiden. If you could go to the old pharmacy on Market Street, I'll be in your debt till the end of the world. If you do it, I've got something to give you. Trust me, you won't regret it. I'll see what I can do.
Okay, got the perfume. The horse? Uh, Aiden. Um, so the thing is, uh, so the situation's, um, has changed. Changed? Listen, Horace, if you ask me to fetch one more thing, I'd... Uh, no, no, uh, this isn't a chat for the radio. Come here as quick as you can. <laughs> this whole glow going on really i mean yeah of course we were cleaning out a furniture shame store last year uh i'm sorry i need to have a word with my friend just don't keep me waiting that's not madeline is it i i know what you're thinking but it's not like that aiden she's the one who came on to me <laughs> that bath man i think it gave me it's the confidence man Women sense it. And what about Madeline? I love her, you know, but... I mean, did you check out Ada? Never even come close to a beauty like that before. And she's great to talk to. Uh, and we both like climbing. And she laughs at my jokes. I mean, not many do, mind you. She came up to me and just sort of latched on. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, who do I choose? I don't exactly have a lot of miles under my belt, but as they say, strike while the iron is hot. True love, like you have for Ada, you might not find that again. Yeah, I think you're on to something. Gosh, I feel like I'm 20 again. I think I've fallen for that Ada.